Hey y'all, thanks for showing your interest in Blade Runner tool sharpenings before and after. Uh, this one is about hand saws. Now, the front one is what's called an eight point hand saw, cross cut hand saw. The one in the back is a 10 point finish saw with a gun sight on it pretty trick. These things are old and you just don't see that anymore. Now a gun sight is designed to flip the handsaw over, pull it quickly on your wood to start a, a groove in the wood, flip it around and that makes it easier so that your handsaw doesn't travel across the wood as you're trying to make that first cut. Pretty trick. Um, he uses this apparently quite often and he wants to use it even more. Um, what I've discovered on both of these, I think what happened is uh, uh, probably had a couple of broken teeth and it looks to me like it's been uh, retoothed. And what, what they do when they retooth a handsaw, see so you have this big machine with a, uh, a V-shaped cutter and it just and it just goes along and just cuts brand new teeth. Takes all the old teeth off in front of it and cuts new teeth in with it. Um, there's no set in it whatsoever. I'm gonna have to put set in it. And um, obviously it doesn't, it has never been filed. So I got my work cut out for me. Um, I am gonna clean it up. I will leave the handle alone. I do like to sh uh, shiny up those uh, brass handle screws. And we will show you our results when we return. Welcome back to this episode of Blade Runner Tool Sharpening's Before and After. Uh, those two hand saws I was showing you a little bit earlier while well, I did finish them up. The uh, eight point hand saw, well, that was just a straight sharpening job really. Um, as you can see on the sides here, these markings there, I do believe that these both were retoothed. And a lot of times when uh, uh, guys would retooth a hand saw, they wouldn't even bother to sharpen it. They'd just take it out let it go out the way it was um, a lot of them didn't even put set in them these had no set in them whatsoever so I had to bend each each every other tooth one way and turn around and bend every other tooth the other way um, that's the eight point handsaw and then the uh, ten point hand handsaw turned out to be a nine point handsaw when I say points that means that there was nine points per inch now normally you have like a <clears throat> five and a half point which is a rip saw uh, 8 point which is a cross cut saw, 10 point and 12 point which are finish saws. Occasionally I've even seen like a 20 point which is like a miter box saw. Extremely tiny teeth. This one is even more unusual with a gun sight and it's a 9 point. Very rarely have I seen 9 point hand saws. So this is that's kind of exciting for me. Um, I did clean up the, uh, the handle screws. Of course I cleaned up the whole hand saw. And I just, like I said, I just love doing these gun sights. These are just incredible. I'm, it's been so long since I've seen one of these, let alone was able to do one. So I wanted to really spiff this one up for him. And that is what makes the world go around here at Blade Runner Tool Sharpens Before and After. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like us on Facebook and our YouTube channel. And remember, with Blade Runner, there's never a dull moment.